So we're at Superbooth with uh, Codec from Erica Sims. So we're going to check out the new uh, trigger sequencer. Chad, yeah, this came from nowhere. I didn't know anything about this. I don't think anybody did. Um, can you walk us through it? Yeah, at first I'd like to mention the, the guys in which we are making this in collaboration is the uh, Electronic from France. Okay. Which make the drum machines and stuff like that. So this is kind of next level sequencer, which we are making in collaboration with them. So it has everything you would want in a trigger sequencer. And, so, uh, how many voices of triggers out have we got? 16 triggers and uh, 12 of them are with accents. So you have this like two-step, uh, two-step triggering like this. Uh, yeah, this, like, this is without accent and, and this is with accent. Okay. I'm not using it right now, but uh, you, you know what I mean. It's like on the 909. Yeah, same way that the accent yeah, steps yeah, work. Yeah. So in terms of patterns and moving between patterns and song modes, how does that work? Yeah, I can show you how to move between patterns. So there is a different 16 banks. I got to bank A. Is that working as mutes? Or on and off switches? Mutes, yeah, but I will now switch through the patterns. And you can link like two patterns, so not this way. <laughs> you can instantly switch between them. Lots of in and outs along the top of the unit. What have we got in terms of the control in and the outputs? Let's see control in is only the clock in. And also it has MIDI in for clock. But what it has here, it will also have one CV and gate track. So you can just like uh, press the button and set the pitch with one and gate with second but, uh, knob. And we also have like clock telephones, which different oh, wow. shapes so you can like use it for hi-hats and stuff like that. And Pan in and opening hats and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like, it's good to have these also on this if you had it. The CV will be good for a baseline, for example. Yeah, to get the bass going and get things shifting with some of the LA4s. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. many LA4 outs can we have? Two. Okay. Yeah. And all the rest of the outs are the triggers? Yeah, a lot of triggers. <laughs> have you control over gate length or is it strictly short triggers? It's strictly short triggers because we don't want to make it too complex. We want to make it like quick a, rhythm generation. Quick, yeah, quick trigger rhythm drum sequence generation. But of course, I'm also triggering like synth envelopes with it, like like this. Like I have here, here in the tap mode, and triggering the telharmonic. <laughs> Stuff like that. Seems <laughs> really playable and really quick. Yeah. yeah. And it responds instantly. So, yeah, let's play a beat. Let's get in the mute screen, for example. I take it most of the drum sounds are pico drums? Yeah, the pico drums are, are these, all of these. And the bass drum is also a new module from us. It's 909 inspired bass drum. Okay, so what have we got in terms of controls? Obviously, massively expanded on the 909. Yeah, as you can see, the tune, tune CV input is missing. I don't know how we like did that, but somehow we came up with a prototype without the <laughs> tune CV input. But These things you, happen. Yeah, what you will be able to control is the tune, decay, and the distortion, like saturation. So you can make like moving draw, like kick drum patterns, you know, boom, boom, boom like that. I can play it a bit around with it. So. Yeah, 
Yeah, nice. So, roughly when can we expect the bass drum and the trigger sequencer? I hope uh, end of this summer. As you see, the trigger sequencer is working and the drum is making sound too. Yeah. So, uh, just prototypes for now. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome.